Shawty, she a dime. Demon girl, evil eyes, she be telling lies. You and your team, you successfully copy some woolly mammoth genes into the genome of an Asian elephant using CRISPR. So my question is, are you going to revive the woolly mammoth? And does that mean eventually we're going to see a real life Manny, the woolly mammoth from the movie Ice Age? So we're, we're not trying to, to de-extinct species. We're trying to de-extinct genes to increase the diversity in endangered species. So unfortunately, all... Uh, species of elephants are endangered right now. And uh, so, and as with many endangered species, it's a loss. It, it's the solution, the problem and the solution have to do with genomic diversity. And so um, what, what we're doing is making something that might have all the advantages of ancient uh, elephants and modern elephants. And a third component is things that, that are even better than both of them. So, so for example, we can get cold resistance genes from the ancient uh, elephants and we can, and, and then get all the rest of the genes from modern elephants mm -hmm. and then get uh, synthetic biology to provide them with resistance to a, a, a very serious herpes virus infection that, that could cause extinction all by itself. And then put that into, into one case. So we're, no, we're not limited by the mammoth we don't have to make a perfect copy of the mammoth. We're trying to make something that enables elephants to fix the carbon problem in the Arctic, which is more severe than all the other carbon problems in the whole world put together is 1400 gigatons. So, so, so really it's not, it, it's we're, we have brought back two genes so far. So we have, there is some de-extinction and there's also been the extinction of entire genomes of um, my, um, like viral species, but uh, the, the goal is not to, to uh, not immediately anyway. I think we, we will develop the technology will allow us to bring back uh, extinct species, but we're just focusing on diversity right now. Yeah, so do you think it would be theoretically possible to de-extinct dinosaur genes? Well, again, it depends on one's creativity. So, so some genes have been brought back, some protein encoding genes, have been brought back from billions of years. So pre-dinosaur by looking at the phylogenetic tree. So if you're creative enough, you can, you can ask questions like, what was the temperature optimum for an enzyme uh, at the dawn of life? Um, and it turns out that it was probably somewhere around 65 degrees Celsius. So quite, quite hot uh, was, was maybe uh, the answer for that question. So um, dinosaurs aren't, yet uh, likely to have intact DNA, un unless you consider modern birds to be dinosaurs and there, there's a lot they have in common, uh, but you can still re recreate uh, a lot of their developmental biology by looking at phylogenetic trees and, and using our intuition. So is, I uh, hesitate to say anything's impossible. I think it's better to say that it's impractical at present time.